And it kind of feels weird knowing we actually basically finished the game, yet we're not done. But hey everybody, back to another episode of Slime Rancher. In the last episode, we actually technically finished the game. But there is a lot of stuff we still haven't technically completed that I would like to get done. There's a few other things I wanted to show as well that I've recently discovered. But first things first, I want to do something about... Okay, that's a great way to start this. Oh no. Are you kidding me? Okay, it's probably really hard to understand why I'm making the commentary I am, but um... My pro controller is drifting. I'm not doing this weird moonlight thing on my own. My my thing is actually consistently drifting one direction. Why? Done now? We done misbehaving? We done with the shenanigans? Good. Wait, what? What? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Did we just we <laughs> did? The game gives you a spare slime key, which I don't think you technically need, because I believe um the last of the uh Gordo should give us enough keys, I would hope. Actually, hang on, let's actually double check some things. Let's... Okay. Oh, that's right. You can't actually. Oh, I wish there was. I wish when you like hovered over the main area, it would be like, oh, in this area you found this. But no. No, that would be too easy. <laughs> oh, anyway. Well, I'm thinking about it. I want to see something. Wow, talk about the most subtlest selection I have ever seen. So I immediately kind of forgot I had some extra um, ornaments from earlier in the Let's Play. So let's just add these on as well. Because why not? I think we had some other ones too. I don't think it was just the hands. Oh yeah, that was right. I do have one 
Handlebar. It? I might have had some extra splinter ones. Oh, I accidentally did echoes, but I don't have spare echoes. Okay, so that is all that I have. So we have a few more. Just cute and all. Alright, so just as the video is concluding, we got another email. However, it's not from Casey this time. It's from Mr. H. Though, to be fair, by this point, I really should be calling him Mis Mr. Twilgers because Hobson is actually his first name, but. <laughs> Hello, Beatrix. I just want to say thanks for taking care of the old ranch. I know I left in a bit of a sorry state, and from what I hear, it's like you might find these days. It makes me feel all warm and fuzzy knowing that it's been hands. As a little thank you, I activated three secret vaults that I built years ago to stash a small fortune of mine. I'd always planned on using it as walking around money in the great beyond, but I ain't needing for that no more. But as you know me, I'm a good adventurer. I'm not telling you where the vaults are located. Go explore! So, so far, I have not looked this up. I don't know where the vaults are at the moment. If I can't find them after a few bits of time, I will possibly look them up. But for now, we are going to see if we can find them without help. Oh, okay, I get it. So that teleporter actually pops you over to that teleporter. Fascinating. Okay. Makes sense. That's we're talking about ornaments. It actually leads into our next thing that we're going to be covering. Which is something I did have to look up, I will admit. So, there is every weekend a very special gordo that pairs called the Party Gordo. And basically, there are various locations that you can potentially find this for. It is very consistently the same spot for every person on each on uh, each specific weekend. So instead of me just running willy nilly all over the place trying to blindly figure out where this gorda was, I did look up where it is, and of course. <laughs> It's in like the furthest place ever that it could potentially be. Of course. I mean, it could be worse. It could be in the... So, the reason why I'm making my way this way is we need to go to the ancient ruins, which is where the party girl Ergo is for this weekend. Now, there is a couple of interesting things about the party gordo. For one thing, only one spawns each weekend, so once you have, a, have found it, you cannot find another one. You will have to wait till the following weekend, and by that point, it is going to be in a different location from where I am showing it in this video. If I like check my map a little bit, you may it, it'll make sense. Not to do well. Oh, 
walls actually see through. I think they are. This is one of the weirdest spots I can think of for putting this, but... I forgot food. Hang on. I'm a silly. I forgot food. Wait a second. What I'll probably do is I'll probably link the YouTuber's channel in the description because it looks like they are very consistently searching out the location. So if you want to know what the location is for that weekend specifically, you just need to figure out the date. I have no idea how well this is going to be heard over the guy, but this there is some banging music coming out of this guy. Hi. Oh my gosh! It's a rainbow! Hero, and he thought slams couldn't get any more awesome. Whoop. So I'm actually gonna um these. And yeah, let's see what we Ooh! Oh, that's awesome! go oh wait it was the back side of the drone ornament I see yeah okay so it does look like you get at least a few uh, different ornaments and if you really like the ornaments I would recommend doing this so you can Oh, with our lovely hoo 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 boot. I think we were going to do what? I still wish I knew why randomly you just gained money. I don't understand that. As far as I know, crates aren't being broken. But. I'm gonna probably cut back to me actually making it back because this might be a bit before I return. Alright. Nice. Oh. Now we'll put our nice little rainbow one right there. These are so cute. I hope they bring something like this back for the sequel. Because this is a super adorable. Hmm, that's facing the wrong way. Let me fix that, because otherwise it will drive me nuts. There we go. Ah, 
All right. So, as I've mentioned before, we are planning on completing every collectible that we can. And one of those is completing the treasure pots. However, at this current point in time, we can't open them all. So our current goal is to do something about that. way to do that is by making a bunch of various sorts of technology. Which frankly we were doing anyway because of the fact we're trying to get wild honey and having no luck with it whatsoever. So that's fun. Ah well. This does. I'm actually legit curious. That's not the right but Hang on. Why am I bit? Why am I like this? So how is this supposed to help? Do I need a chicken for it? I don't know. I... Oh, I can pick it up. Okay. Maybe I'm supposed to put eggs to a chicken coop? That's possible. Let's try here. Maybe. I don't know. How does this work? Oh. What? <laughs> what did I just do? This is this way. Oh, I think it can sometimes fail. Oh, oh, I don't know how I feel about that. This only works on certain types of chickens. Let me let me get a couple of wires. Let's see if it's that. Or if um It might be certain chickens. Which would be weird, like why? Just a little bit disturbed. The uh, death cries I keep hearing. Obviously, this is a very hit or miss technology. Okay. So that's that's fun. So. Maybe, who knows? 
what I will probably do is I'll probably throw a bunch of novice technologies down just so that we can get like more built all right that's a lot which is good I hope Oh, cool. Out of room. Of course I have. Also, this is out of room. That's a problem. Hmm, yes. Okay, so at this point, I think I'm gonna stop throwing quantum ports in for the moment because at this time, we really don't need more. At least for now. As far as I recall, the only things that really use them that we currently have the uh, recipe for are the drones. Descriptions. Ha! <laughs> Doubles your chickens half the time! Oh, so yes, they fly out of it. Yeah, this isn't gonna work every time. Sorry. What we might do. Get a couple more fiery links made so we can start putting fiery links in our spots to speed up the process of throwing more material in. Alright, where are good locations? I guess this spot? There, because it's kind of centralized at least. Then we'll put this here. Wow. Uh. I didn't think it would have been that long since I last visited you guys. So we're starting to reach a point where. We really, really, really need uh, food production boosted because we're, it's somewhat keeping up, but there are some things where, like, it doesn't feel like it's quite keeping up as well as it should. Like, here, for example. Do that, we need to get some more progress done on Ogden. So what I think we're gonna do is get some much needed clearing out done here. And then we will make our way over to Ogden, which it has been a while, admittedly, since we last visited Ogden. See if we can make any progress towards completing the next uh, major milestone. What is the price for these going for? Eh, could be worse. But how close are we? Oh my, we have a long ways to go actually on Ogden still. 
Now this might take a few trips. Alright, 25 is actually pretty good. What I think we're going to do is make our way back to the exit and deposit our loot. Now, I don't think I explained this in a previous video, but basically, the point of the spicy tofu is anything can eat it. So, it's a nice supplementary um, food if you absolutely don't have uh, anything else for it. But it, make, it doesn't help satisfy their hunger, from my understanding. So, it's just there for. Making you know, for giving them something to eat. I wanted to take a quick peek uh, at this because I can't remember. Oh wow! Oh, that's gonna take a while. Yep. That's definitely gonna take a while. But it's it's doable. Oh, I'm actually out. Oh, that's cool. Ah, got one at the last second. 66. I could do better, but considering the fact that it's been how many episodes since I last did the Quicksilver? I'd say that's pretty good. Got it. Awesome. You won! That, I believe, is probably my highest record to date for this side quest minigame thing. This is out too. Yeah, this isn't keeping up anymore. So I either need to create a second garden. They might do. You know what? I think I will probably do that. Will hopefully help us keep up with that. All right, let's see what our lovely little things found us. Strange diamond, really? Okay. Uh, 
I'll take it. Okay. Alright, let's check these. Wild honey, that's what we're looking for. There's another one escapee. Oh, oh, that's gonna hurt. Okay. Right. Pink. Mustn't forget the pink. There's actually not that much pink in here. Definitely gonna have to grab from the other place. Oops. <laughs> flirts in a row. Keep your flirts all in a row. <laughs> We can do I don't know what is. I knew it! I knew it! That's the ticket! Treasure Cracker Mark 3! So, in case... It, I don't think I said it before, but basically, you need to install 50 technology in order for the last Treasure Cracker to become available. Allows you to bypass locks in the most advanced treasure pods. So with this, we actually have enough. <laughs> Which was part of the reason why I was uh, saving up a bunch of money. So now that we have the last treasure cracker, it's about time we started cleaning up the treasure pods that we don't have yet 
and we'll have to save that for next time. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, consider hitting the like button. And if you really like this video and want to see some more stuff from me and support the channel, consider, hitting, consider checking it out and maybe even subscribing. Until next time, bye.